I'm Dr. Abby Nolder, an ear, nose, and throat surgeon at Arkansas Children's Hospital. If you're watching this video, you may have been tasked with caring for a child with a tracheostomy or are planning to care for a child with a tracheostomy. A tracheotomy is a procedure in which an opening is made in the trachea or windpipe that allows the child to breathe through the opening in the neck rather than the nose or mouth. A tube, called a tracheostomy tube, is placed in the opening and allows the child to breathe. The procedure to place the tracheostomy is done in the operating room under general anesthesia. The procedure takes 30 to 45 minutes and your child will be taken back to the intensive care unit following the procedure. Many parents ask how long their child will have the tracheostomy tube in place. This very much depends on the reason that the tracheostomy tube was placed and will be determined by your treatment team. Some parents worry that their child won't be able to talk or eat with a tracheostomy tube in place. The tracheostomy tube is below the vocal cords, meaning the child will still be able to use the vocal cords. Having a tracheostomy tube does not mean that they cannot eat or talk normally. While having a tracheostomy tube is often necessary for some children, there are risks to having a tracheostomy tube. One risk is accidental decannulation, which means if the tracheostomy tube were to come out inadvertently, the tube would have to be replaced. Another thing that can happen is the tracheostomy tube can become plugged and the child will no longer be able to breathe through it. In both of these cases, it's very important that you have a trained caregiver with your child at all times, someone that is trained to take the tracheostomy tube out and replace it with a new one, as well as to perform CPR in the event that that is needed. If your child undergoes the tracheostomy procedure, there are several steps that you must take before the child can be discharged home with the tracheostomy. One step is to have two caregivers, 18 years or older, that are trained in caring for the child with the tracheostomy, including daily care of the tracheostomy and tracheostomy changes. In addition to the doctors and nurses caring for your child, we have a team of care coordinators and discharge planners that will ensure that you have all the equipment you need at home to take care of your child with a tracheostomy. This will include suction machines, suction catheters, extra tracheostomy tubes, and any other equipment you'll need to care for your child. Once your child is discharged home after a tracheostomy, he or she will require follow-up visits with the ENT surgeon as well as any other specialists that are following the child. These specialists will monitor your child's tracheostomy and manage any issues that may arise. Your child may return to school or daycare with the tracheostomy tube. It will require a trained caregiver on site that can care for your child with the tracheostomy tube. There are several steps to tracheostomy caregiver training. You will receive hands-on training in the care of your child with a tracheostomy while they are still in the hospital. This will include learning how to suction the tracheostomy tube, clean and change the tracheostomy tube, and any other care related to the care of your child with a tracheostomy. We will provide you with CPR training for you and a designated caregiver prior to discharge home from the hospital. You will also have an opportunity to room in with your child for 48 hours in which you will demonstrate the skills you have learned in caring for your child with the tracheostomy prior to discharge.